because mine don't last very long. If I'm upset about something, I just like, you know, go to sleep, wake up and it's done. Usually. Welcome to Pastor Kim's Corner, and yes, it is me, Pastor Kim. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. If you're new here, please don't forget to like, subscribe, post a comment, and hit the notification bell so that you'll know every time I'm posting a new video. So I just wanted to talk to you as we come into the end of the year about my weight loss journey. As some of you know, I have not posted a weight loss journey video in probably at least a month since around Thanksgiving. I mean, what was the point, really? <laughs> it was Thanksgiving. It was Christmas. I um, was going through some things with my health. And so, um, so let's see. Um, what the good news is, um, I think maybe the last time I have to go back and watch my own video. But I had gained my weight back plus a couple pounds. Um, so after that, I became very discouraged. I was just like, this is crazy. Like, okay, it's pandemic, it's holiday season, and um, I gained all my weight back plus an additional uh, few pounds. And so um, <clears throat> I um, subsequently, after I got over my moment of being upset, sad, depressed, whatever you want to call it, because mine don't last very long. If I'm upset about something, I just like, you know, go to sleep, wake up and it's done. Usually that's it. Maybe depends on what it is, you know, something really bad, then, you know, that's different. But usually because life happens. After realizing that I had gained my weight, then I turn around and I lost weight. Yes, I, okay, so I'm gonna tell y'all what happened. Let me back up. My knee, my left knee had been bothering me. My knee like literally went out, okay? Like people say my back went out. My knee went out. It just like was like, I'm done. I'm tired. I've been working all these years, I'm done. And so I um, I could barely walk, like literally. I was holding onto walls. It was just really, really bad. So I had got some pain uh, medicine and, um, and went to the doctor. And uh, I think that's when I realized that I had gained the weight. But I just like, I just stopped eating again, cut way, way back. I lost 10 pounds again. So. Um, cause I had been playing with this 10, 12, 15 pounds gain, so I'm here, lose some there. So I lost, immediately I lost like 10 pounds. And so when I went back to the doctor for a checkup, um, she was like, oh my God, you lost 10 pounds. Like, what did you do? How did you do it? Whatever you did, you need to keep that up. Like she was just so shocked. I was like, well, I think the weight gain scared me. Plus the fact that my knee went out scared me because now I'm like, I don't want to be bedridden or anything like that. So, so again, how did I get, take care of my knee? So of course I got some pain medicine, but then I got, um, a cortisone shot. And some of you may know about that or not, but you get a shot of cortisone in your knee Well, okay, let me back up. <laughs> so when I went to the doctor about my knee, they took an x-ray and my doctor said, you had very little cartilage left in your knee. She's like, it's really bad. Like you have very little cartilage. So she sent me to the orthopedic 
uh, doctor to get the um, the cortisone shot or see what else they would offer. She was like, you know, you. I'm glad you lost 10 pounds. Whatever you did, keep it up because taking some weight off your knee, the pressure, you know, the age, all of that, you know, your knee is just giving out. And, um, you know, they call it arthritis. And so I'm like, you know, everybody says arthritis, arthritis. What is arthritis? You know, what are you, what are you saying? What is arthritis? And so she says, um, arthritis is basically, um, you lose the flexibility that's in your joints, the, um, you know, the cartilage, and it becomes you know, bone to bone or get stiff or whatever the case may be. So I'm like, okay, because everybody's talking about, you know, when people say, oh, I have arthritis or whatever. What what are they really saying? So um, when I go to the um, orthopedic surgeon, you know, he was very nice. And she was like, my doctor was like, beware, because the specialists out here lately are being really mean to people. They're not being very nice, blah, blah, blah. And so I was like, yeah, I could relate because the, the bariatric place that you sent me to was not nice, not nice at all. So I go to see about my knee. They take an x-ray. They tell me I have very little cartilage. They send me to my doctor, sends me to a specialist. The specialist says, no, you have no cartilage. OK, it's just done. You know, now you can take some of the pressure off. And he was like, the front of your knee has not. Because I was like, I can literally hear my knee pop. And he was like, yeah, I'm not surprised. He was like, you can take some of the pressure off, take some of the weight off. We'll give you a cortisone shot. And I said, well, my doctor also mentioned this um, gel. You can inject me with this gel, like a false sense of a false type of synthetic cartilage. He was like, OK, that's down the road. OK, first things first okay let's get some weight off if you want I'll give you the cortisone shot it might help it might not so I said well you know the pain allowed me and encouraged me to and reminded me you need to lose some weight so maybe I shouldn't and I was like no I'll, I'll take it give me the shot so of course they have to you know um, numb your knee a little bit freeze it up you know you know so that you don't feel that shot going in. I've had one previously in my Achilles heel. I pulled a tendon and it was very painful. So um, so I got the shot and then guess what y'all? I felt like I could do cartwheels. Woo, woo, woo. That cortisol shot helped me so much. And um, I was like, you know, this is amazing. Whatever has occurred in my body is still there. Nothing has changed, but the shot is making it feel like it's not there anymore. And so it's been lasting really good. I don't take a pain pill every day. Thank God. You know, if it's bothering me a lot, I'll take it. But it really hasn't been bothering me that much. I mean, I was limping. I was walking real slow, scared, you know, that my knee might give out. You know, or like, you know, when pain really hits you, you know, you like, it buckles you, you know, so it was a mess, okay? So I got that done. So now I'm feeling great. I'm watching what I eat. Wait a minute. <laughs> Saw my doctor, you know, I came back. She was like, okay, you're doing good. You know, I'm gonna take some blood work took the blood work, emailed me, you know, doctors or something else. She emails me and says, you're a diabetic. You have to come back in. I'm like, what? I am not a diabetic. Okay. That's out. I do take high blood pressure pills. I take a thyroid pill, but I am not a diabetic. We're not going to get on all of these pills. No, 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 no. So um, I called to see what was going on. I said, you know, what is my AC1 now? They said seven. I said, what is normal? They said between four and five. I said, what was it last time? 5.6. I'm like, okay. All right. Uh, all right. I, I get that. I'll see you in a couple of weeks. 
No, the doctor wants you to come in right away. She wants to start you, you know, on your um, uh, diabetic medicine. I'm like, okay. I'm not coming in for no diabetic pills. No, no. I'm going to watch my sugar because that's what happened. Oh, guess what? Two, y'all. Let me back up. She said, and your cholesterol is up. I'm going to give you something for that. Well, I knew, automatically knew. We know our bodies. Our bodies will talk to us if we allow it. And we know what's going on with our body. My cholesterol was up because I've been doing keto. And keto is fat, 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 butter fat, you know, chicken fat, all kinds of fat. And then I was doing the vegetarian, I mean, the pescatarian. I said, well, I'm going to cut up. Since I'm doing keto, I'm not going to do a lot of meat. I'm going to do the shrimp and the crab legs and stuff like that. Well, that's why my cholesterol is up. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to have to modify this whole keto thing. And then the sugar was up because I've been cheating on my sugar. You know, I had cut back, but you know, cheating, popping peppermints, those little peppermint. Like a pepper, when I read it, a piece of peppermint has like 23 grams of sugar. Who knew? So now everything that I eat that may be sweet, uh, not only am I looking at the carbs, but I'm looking at the sugar content, you know? Because I'm not about to get on a pill because of too much sugar. So that's what's been going on over here with this weight loss journey. So I have to go to the doctor soon, check up on my knee and just another checkup for the checkup. And then um, I'll find out. My doctor was like, okay, so if you lost 10 pounds in the short time that I saw you, when I see you next, and I think I don't go back to see my regular doctor until like the end of February, the 1st of March. She was like, let's look to be at least 10 more pounds down. I was like, okay, I could do that. You know, I could do that. So um, hopefully that's where I'll be. Now remember, I'm not going to be posting for weight loss journey every week. It's just too much, too much. Like I said before, weighing yourself and all that. Holidays are over. Knee is fixed. So I have no more reasons or excuses. And I'll be posting every other week on this weight loss journey. Okay, people? That's what's been going on over here with the weight loss journey. You know, uh, lost... I'm so I'm, I'm just at an even kill. I've broken even on the weight. Okay. No gain, no loss. We're still, we, we've still broken even. And so the next time that I talk to you two weeks from today, uh, prayerfully, I will have lost at least 10 pounds or something. I will have lost something. Okay. And um, I'm just grateful that my knee is working and I'll be able to tell you that I didn't have to get on the pills for um, diabetes. You know, and all of this is just a uh, just a continual wear and tear of the body. So we're going to get it right. I'm going to um, definitely pull this weight uh, off of me in Jesus name and take some of this pressure off my knee, which is doing phenomenally better. Oh my God, that knee pain was unbelievable and frightening to say the least. So I'm so grateful that the cortisone shot worked and I wanted to keep on working. (laughs) So y'all, that's what's been going on with the weight loss journey. Will I continue with keto? Yes. But more of a low carb, you know, I did start a new channel called Keto Queen and um, I will be doing some keto recipes, but I will be doing a lot of low carb recipes as well because I can't, you know, I have to watch the fat intake because that's cholesterol. So um, I still will be doing keto and I'm looking, you know, for no carbs and no sugar sweets. Those are the recipes that I'm really going to be working on, Lord willing. But yeah, guys, I'm about to wrap this video up. I just wanted to touch base with you for the last uh, Monday of the year, 2020. 
get rid of 2020 and just kick it off for 2021 every twice a month weight loss journey look for it okay if you don't see it hit me up on instagram and say yo what's up like you know you said you was going to do this weight loss journey let's do this together together okay i'm counting on you and you're counting on me we need each other y'all have a blessed day and a purpose-filled life and you know that i love you with that agape love stay blessed